Yesterday's speech by the Fed Reserve Chairman added yet another boost to the US dollar, which is on a track to close its best week of the year. However, Trump's policies continue to stimulate the movement of all dollar-denominated assets, such as stocks and bonds. Still, the bullish momentum of these assets, which was thrown a few days ago, has been moderating. At the same time, the consequences of a Donald Trump's victory will hardly fade from the global agenda. It's not just about the change in the White House. It's about the unpredictability of the new US president who generates unexpected ideas. In a modern U.S. history, there is only one other person like this, Elon Musk. And here is the twist. He is set to lead a new department tasked with advising the president on reforming or even shutting down certain federal agencies. It seems that the Red Perch, previously warned about the, by the media, is beginning to take shape in a very real way. As for the currency market, sentiment is now influenced by a variety of factors. Each country is dealing with its own unique uncertainties. For instance, Germany's second economy is on the brink of new elections. Meanwhile, the UK is preparing for an increase in its social security contributions, which in turn will impact the labor market and a consumer spending. The decline in industrial production in the Eurozone accelerated from a minus 0.1 to minus 2.8 percent on year, which looks like a full-blown collapse. Nevertheless, the global media landscape continues to be dominated by the topic of Donald Trump and his threats to impose a new trade tariffs are further worsening the already bleak outlook for the struggling Eurozone economy. No wonder the US dollar index, which tracks the greenback's value against the six major currencies, is trading close to its one year high of 106.81 points today. The dollar's strong performance on Friday can be largely attributed to Jerome Powell's speech the day before. The Federal Reserve Chairman, citing the strength of the domestic economy, resilient labor market, and persistent inflation, signaled that there is a no urgent need to lower interest rates. Markets uh, interpreted these statements as a clear directive, suggesting that we may witness uh, an even stronger US dollar in the near future. Although the US dollar is rallying across the boat, and the situation looks particularly grim for the euro. The single currency already trading at its one-year low and has been further weakened by expectations of a sharp rate cuts by the European Central Bank. Analysts do not rule out the possibility of a 50 basis point rate cut at the ECB policy meeting in December, bringing their refinancing rate below 3%. Meanwhile, the Federal Reserve's rate in December is likely to remain at its current level of 4.75%. Meanwhile, the euro dollar pair has retreated to its one year lows. The instrument is on a track to the lowest level in a month with a 1.8% fall. And the overall the euro has tumbled by almost 5% from its more than a year high level since September. Some analysts even suppose that the euro is a hidden to parity with the US dollar. On a Friday, technical indicators pointed to a further short-term bearish trend for the euro. At the same time, the US dollar is extremely overbought due to its rapid rally. Hence, uh, the euro-dollar pair has a chance to enter a corrective phase.
especially if some investors decide to lock in profits at the end of the trading week. However, the current CPA is expected to resume its decline toward 1.0425 and critical support at 1.0400. The dollar's rally slowed today following data from China, which revealed that retail sales jumped from 3.2% to 4.8%. Considering that concerns about the slowdown in the Chinese economy were one of the factors driving the dollar's trends, and this development has created the basis for the potential reversal in the trend. It has also paved the way for a possible rise in oil prices. According to forecasts from the International Energy Agency, oil demand is expected to decline next year and primarily due to the low demand from china however the commodity market now seems to have um, rediscovered the inverse correlation between oil and the united states dollar causing oil prices to drop as um, decisively as the u.s dollar has transcended in the meantime, oil prices have been relatively stagnant over the past couple of days. Should the dollar resume its upward trend, Brent crypto could fall back to $71 per barrel. Interestingly, and this decline has yet to evoke any response from the OPEC Plus group. It seems everyone acknowledges that political factors are currently driving the market. So, perhaps uh, some statements will be made next week, but um, only if oil prices do not start to gradually recovering on uh, their own. The US dollar stunning rally and the steady decline in oil prices have also impacted the Russian ruble, which has dropped to its lowest level since October last year, approaching the mark of 100 rubles per dollar. It seems that the influence of external factors may persist. Nevertheless, uh, the ultra-tight monetary policy of the Central Bank of Russia will likely prevent the ruble from extreme weakness. Most likely, what uh, we are seeing now is a local spike in the dollar-ruble pair of a short-term nature, as a, already as a next week, the Russian currency may begin to regain some of its lost ground. So that's all for today. We continue to monitor the situation in the financial markets. We wish you profitable trading and have a nice weekend. Subscribe to our channel and follow news with us. And see you online soon.